Hey guys, it's Brittany Willie with Willie Nice Stuff and I'm back today with a very exciting video about customer returns liquidation palettes. I'm so excited because my palette actually arrived today. So this video is gonna be a little rundown about my palette and why I ordered it. And then I'm gonna do an unboxing part one of, of this customer returns liquidation palette. If you're interested in liquidation content, then do keep watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more to share. And let's just jump right into this video. Okay, so this palette that I received today is a customer returns liquidation palette. It is women's clothing mostly. My palette was completely manifested, which I 1000% prefer. If you don't know what manifested means, that means they give you a literal, a literal list of what is inside the palette. You can look up comps and stuff like that before you receive it. That way um, you really know what you're buying, you know what your money's going towards. I prefer ordering manifested palettes. Little disclaimer before we really jump right in. I want you guys to know that all palettes are different. All liquidation companies are different. I'm just sharing my knowledge about customer returns palettes that I've ordered from a certain liquidation company. Unfortunately, I can't share with you exactly where I ordered this palette from. Um, and times like these, liquidation is honestly really hard to come by. So I'm not able to share exactly where I got it, but I can share with you that what you're looking for is found on the first two pages of Google. So do your research, know what you're buying, um, ask the company questions, you know, call them, talk to a real person. All of these things are key factors in finding a liquidation company that works best for you and your business. So let's talk about numbers. The breakdown of the palette that I received today, um, the palette actually cost $2,595.93. I paid $363.30 for shipping. Keep in mind that shipping cost is crazy low. Normally you're gonna pay anywhere, anywhere from $600 to $1,200 just for shipping because you are doing freight shipping. It is a full pallet that comes on a truck. So the reason that my shipping cost was so low is because I'm in Oklahoma and the pallet that I ordered came from Texas. So um, that's very unusual. So the total amount that I spent on this pallet is $2,959.23. There are 486 items in this palette, so that equates to $6.09 per unit. And like I said, I knew exactly what I was getting, so I was able to look up comps and see if it was going to be a profitable, a profitable palette for me to purchase. And it was, so um, a couple more things that I wanted to run through really quick before we get right into the unboxing is I wanna share with you guys why I'm so in love with customer returns palettes. I know um, it can be scary to get returns, but in my opinion, it is the way to go um, if you're looking to be a reseller on eBay and Poshmark. So there are four reasons why I love ordering customer liquidations. The first reason is because the cost is much lower. Um, if you don't know, there are two kinds of clothing palettes to purchase. You can purchase the seasonal shelf pull palettes or the customer returns palettes. The seasonal shelf pull palettes are more expensive than the customer returns palettes because those seasonal shelf pull palettes are brand new with tags, very little flaw right off of the retail floor and you can literally just list them in your, in your stores. Whereas the customer returns palettes were purchased by someone and returned. So then those returns were sent off to liquidation. Well, so I will say that customer returns palettes are a little bit more work, but I'll go into that a little bit later. So therefore the cost is lower um, than seasonal shelf pulls. So that is one reason why I really do like customer returns. The second reason, and I think this is key, is what I have found based off of my previous purchases of customer returns, is that you're getting a lot more in-demand items. Um, seasonal shelf pull liquidations are items that have set in the retail environment, nobody's purchased, and then they're sent off when the season changes. Whereas customer returns were purchased, they were desired, they weren't wanted, but for whatever reason, they were returned. So I found that my customer returns palettes have sold super fast, the items are hot, 
and I just very much prefer that. Um, another really cool thing about customer returns, it's a much higher variation of items. Um, and what I mean by that is when you're ordering the seasonal shelf pulls, you're going to get a lot of duplicates because say that sweater set on the floor and nobody purchased it, you're going to have 10 of those sweaters in all different sizes that people, you know, weren't a hot item. Whereas customer returns, the variation is huge. So out of, you know, 486 items that I'm getting, there's probably only going to be a few duplicates, which I prefer. In my business, I currently list 10 items a day, seven days a week. So I need as many different items as I can get for my money. Another really cool thing about customer returns palettes is you do get flawed items. And the reason I say that it's cool is because a lot of people don't know that flawed items do sell. So a zipper may be broken on a $500 dress and I can list it for $200. Someone's gonna buy that dress because they're getting a huge discount and um, they can just fix the zipper. So, you know, and that goes to show for an $80 dress, I could maybe get 30, 40 bucks out of it and someone will fix that zipper. So um, there are all kinds of different flawed items and I will go into that while I'm unboxing. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of why I love customer returns clothing palettes. <laughs> so I'm so sorry for the long introduction, but let's get right into this unboxing video. All right, you guys, I'm super excited. I have not opened any of these yet. Um, so we're just gonna jump right in and open up the first box. So the first box was this tiny little one that was on top. So we're gonna open it too. All right, you guys, so this is typical of what you're gonna find in a customer returns. It's just a wadded up item. Obviously someone has returned this. So um, we're just gonna open it up and see what it's like. So the first item is this Calvin Klein blazer. It looks super pretty. The color is gorgeous. And the flaw that I'm showing is it's got a couple of dirt marks. I think you can see that. This is what I call a retail stain. So it looks like this item was dropped on the floor and stained. So what I'm going to do is remove that stain and sell this item as pre-owned. It did retail for $150. The next item is these Tommy Hilfiger men's shorts. It, they retailed for $55. And these were just returned with no flaw. So these will sell brand new with tags. The next item we have is this super cute Guess t-shirt. It says it does glow in the dark. This item is brand new with tags, no flaw that I can see. Um, and it did retail for $44. The next item is this Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt dress. As you can see, it is completely stained up. I'm not sure what this is. Um, it's honestly kind of scary. But what I'm going to do is wash this, try to get the stain out, and sell it pre-owned. So, um, if... Um, if the stain does come out, if it doesn't, it's obviously trash, but if it does come out, I can probably get about $30 for this dress. Um, and like I said, I only paid $6 an item. Okay, let's hope we can get some better stuff here. Here we go. So, oh, I love this dress. This is a free people dress. I saw this on the manifest. Let's hope that it doesn't have any flaws. So gorgeous maxi dress. Oh my gosh, it's so hard not to keep these items. <laughs> um, this is Free People, size large, retails for $168. And I'm not seeing any flaws, guys. And like I said, I only paid six bucks. So that is definitely a good find. The next item is this Montu 3X dress. So cute. I actually feel like this is like a tunic dress, a t-shirt dress. So freaking cute. And I do love carrying the bigger sizes. This retailed for $59, no flaws. The next item are these DKNY pants, size 12. These retail for $89. I can probably get 30 or 40 bucks out of them and they are in perfect condition. 
Next up, we have another one of those gorgeous free people dresses in a size medium. I'm so in love with this dress. Oh, so pretty. Next up, we have this French Connection cardigan. Um, this is like a chiffon silk cardigan with a drawstring. I really do love selling French Connection. I can probably get about 30 bucks for this. Um, it retailed for 58. Next up, we have this Nine West blazer, black, super cute, size 14 with no flaws. Next up, we have another pair of black pants by the brand Le Suit. They're a size six, and I have not sold this brand yet, so I will keep you guys posted on how these sell. Um, I'm not even sure of the retail cost, but they do have no flaws. So in customer returns palettes, you're gonna get a lot of wadded up tickets and stuff like that. I do remove all of that um, and clean up the item, you know, fold it up real nice, put it in a poly bag. That way, when someone's getting a new item, it is, you know, packaged new and it doesn't look all junky with this tag. This is super cute and I might have to keep it for myself. This is a DKNY sweatshirt, a size small with this really cute graphic. Um, I'm not showing any flaws to this item. So super, super cute. And the retail price was $79. The next item is this Casper skirt, just a basic pencil skirt. I can probably get 15 or 20 bucks out of this and it's in perfect condition. The next item are these free people pants. They retail for 98 bucks. They're a corduroy skinny jean, a size zero. They're in perfect condition and these will sell great for me. The next item is this Casper Lace Cami. This is a great brand to sell. It's a good bread and butter item. Um, it's a size large, which is a really great size. And I bet I can get between 15 and 20 bucks out of this. And it is super great in perfect condition. The next item, we have this ink knit cardigan. It's black, super soft. And this retailed for 70 bucks. I bet I can get between 30 and $40 out of this. Um, it is current season, super, super pretty and soft. Perfect condition. Next up, we have this Tommy Hilfiger top. Tommy Hilfiger is one of those brands that sells super fast, super, um, especially if it's a current season, it actually sells for a good amount, you know, 20 to 30 bucks, especially if it's new with tags. Um, like I said, this is in great condition, 30 bucks, not bad for a $6 item. Next up, we have this super cute Guess it's like a pencil skirt, a denim pencil skirt. It's got like a Western vibe, so cute. This retail for $98, I bet I'll get around 50. No flaws, perfect condition. Now, I really love selling Guess. It's one of those bread and butter brands for me. Next up, we have this really cute Tommy blouse. Super cute floral detail. It's actually like a sweater, retailed for 80 bucks. And I can probably get 30 to $40 out of this. Tommy Hilfiger, again, one of those bread and butter brands. And that item's in perfect condition. Next up, we have this Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. Definitely in season, a size extra large, retailed for about 80 bucks. I bet I can get half of that. Next up, we have this super cute Alfani chunky cable knit sweater. Alfani is one of those bread and butter brands for me. It does so, so well. This is so cute and so soft. Um, this one is actually missing the tag, so I'll just sell it new without tags. Next up, we have this bar wrap top. This is the label. Super cute top, no flaws that I can see. Retailed for $44. I can probably get between 15 and 20 bucks. Sorry guys, I haven't been showing you the brand tag, but I will start doing that. Next up, we have this Alfani maxi dress. Um, it is a button up blouse. It looks like all of the buttons are there and it is a size large. That's what the tag looks like. Super cute graphic and in perfect condition. Next up, we have a, this Michael Kors dress. Michael Kors actually does really well for me, surprisingly. Um, it's one of those, again, bread and butter items, especially if it's new with tags, they tend to sell really, really well. And the bigger sizes do better in this brand. This is an extra large, just a super cute 
um, maxi dress. Next up, we have these Tommy Hilfiger capri pants in a larger size. They are an extra large, super cute, no flaws. These will do really well. Next up, we have this One State top. One State's a pretty good brand. It doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it does tend to sell pretty quickly for me. Um, this looks like a tunic top. It might be a dress. Um, it retailed for $89 and it is a mini dress, size small. Next up, we have another pair of those Free People corduroy pants. These are in a size two, no flaws that I can see. Super cute, retail for 98. I'll probably get about 40 bucks for these. Next up, we have these NYJD pants. These are actually a pair of black skinny jeans, size 16. NYJD sells super good for me and they actually sell pretty fast. Um, these are super wrinkly. Obviously I'll steam them, take some great photos of them and these will actually do really well. They retail for 109 and I'll probably get about 50 bucks. Next up we have this Bar 3 Maxi Dress. Um, it's a chiffon, just super basic and cute with a sweetheart neckline. This will do pretty well. I'll probably get maybe 20 bucks out of this. Um, and it is a size four, no flaws. Next up, we have this French Connection Camisole. Um, this is what the brand tag looks like. Super basic. I might get 15 or 20 bucks out of this. And it has no stains. I was for sure it would have a makeup stain, but it does not. Perfect condition, new without tags. Next up, we have this basic Alfani top. This is what the tag looks like. Probably get between 15 to 20 for this. Another Alfani top. Satin is super in right now, as well as this type of balloon sleeve. So this will probably sell really, really fast. So this retailed for 60 bucks and I'll probably get 25. Next up, we have this Lucky sweatshirt. Lucky does really, really well for me. It's one of those bread and butter items. It sometimes will sell between $30, $40, $50, depending on the item. This is an extra large, super cute knit. Did I already show that? Um, so I'll probably get about $30 for this. No flaws. Next up, we have these super cute DKNY pants. These joggers. These retail for $80, and they're like a linen feel type pant. No flaws, these will do great. Next up, we have this DKNY jacket, this velour jacket. This is gonna do really well. Velour is super in right now, and DKNY does super good for me. It is a size extra large, super cute, perfect condition. Next up, we have a three-piece suit from Le Suit in a size six. I'm not seeing any damage to this, and it retailed for $240. Super cute gray suit. Um, that is what the tag looks like. And I'm not seeing any damage to this, you guys. $240. I bet I normally try to list things for about 50% of retail price. And then I sometimes will mark my store down 20%. So even at that, I'm still going to get around $100 for this suit. And again, I paid six. Next, we have this super pretty Alfani sweater with sequin detail. It looks great so far. I'm not seeing any flaws on it. Nope, no flaws. Retail for $90. And like I said, I'll list this one about 50% off at 40 and I'll probably get between 30 and 40. Next up, we have this Alfani sweater. Super cute with the zipper cuff. Very trendy and cute. $60, size large, perfect condition. I love this brand. Um, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Colpos Ink. They have super trendy stuff. This is a sweatshirt dress. Super cute. I can already see the flaw though. There are stains. So I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure, but we are going to wash this for sure and try to get these stains out and then sell it pre-owned. Next up, we have this um, sensor tag. Also, when you're ordering liquidation, you're gonna get a lot of sensor tags. 
So you'll want to order a magnet to get those off. I will link my magnet down below. This is Michael Kors top, size large. It's just a basic black top with a bell sleeve, no flaws. Next up, we have this super pretty free people dress. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's another maxi dress, white. It is retailed for $168. And um, newer free people styles like this, I list at retail price. And I can normally get about that. This one is still on the free people website for $168 with no flaws. So I will probably get close to that. Next up, we have this pair of Alfani pants, super bright and vibrant blue. These retail for $50 and I'll probably get 20. Next up, we have this Guess sweater. Guess does really, really well for me. This is a ribbed black sweater, very on trend, super cute with that little detail. Um, this retail for $69 and I'll probably get about 50. Very heavy duty, I love selling Guess. Next up, we have Calvin Klein chiffon, a size 2X, and it's a red. This will do great at Christmas time. Super cute blouse. I love this so much. No flaws. Um, this retailed for $69, and I'll probably get between 20 and 30. Next up, we have another one of those white free people dresses. Absolutely obsessed with this maxi dress. This would be so cute for maternity pictures. Again, retailed for $168. This is a size extra large. An Alfani shirt. Alfani does pretty well for me. This actually does have a stain. So we're gonna put it in the stain pile. This retailed for $70. After I treat the stain and wash it, I'll probably get between 15 and 20. Next up, we have this cute little free people top, just a basic floral. It retailed for $68. I'll probably list this for about 50. No flaws, super cute. Another reason why I love buying customer returns palettes is because as you can see, like 90% of the items are in perfect condition. You know, people buy items all the time and then change their mind. I know I do. So that's why I love doing customer returns palettes. The price is just so good and the items are awesome. So this is um, a pair of Free People corduroy pants, um, size zero, super cute and trendy. These retailed for $98 and I'll probably get between 40 and 50. We've got another sensor. This is the brand Riley and Ray. It's just a blouse with a little tie neck. Super cute, no flaws. Another item from Riley and Ray. Just a basic ribbed sweater with a little puff sleeve. Very on trend, extra small, perfect condition. Next up, we have this Jessica Simpson sweater. Jessica Simpson does pretty well for me, not for a lot of money, but I'll get between 15 and 30 bucks. Um, this retailed for $60, super cute and trendy, so this will probably go fast. Next up, we have a Lucky brand sweater. The Lucky sweaters do really well for me. This is super cute, Heather Gray. I'm not sure what the retail price is, but it's probably around 80. It's a small and I'll probably get between 30 and 40 bucks. Next up, we have this Tommy Hilfiger jacket. It looks like Christmas to me, like a Christmas print. Super cute, I love to sell Tommy. It retailed for $80. And so I can probably get between 30 or 40. <sighs> My legs are cramping. Oh, okay. All right, next up, we have this bar three. Oh, there we go. It's a non-leather, so it's a faux leather blush pink jacket. This is totally in style right now. Retailed for $100, and I bet I can get about 50. Maybe 60, because it's super trendy. Super cute. Next up, we have this Polo Ralph Lauren basic blue top. Ralph Lauren does really good for me, pre-owned and new. This retailed for $35, just a good basic. I can probably get between 20 and 30. Next up, we have this Free People sweater, 
chunky knit red with the balloon sleeve. That is so cute. This one is missing the tags, so I will have to list it new without tags, but it probably retailed for between 70 to 90 bucks. Super cute, and it's like a chenille fabric. Next up, we have another one of these. Just a ribbed knit cropped cardigan. This is very trendy and will go probably pretty fast between 20 to 30 bucks. Next up, we have these super cute jeans from Free People. They're a size 26, which is probably a good thing or I might keep them. I really like the denim color. They've got that aged look and they are bell bottoms. So cute, so on trend. And I can't see the retail price, but it's probably between 100 and 150 and I will probably get close to that. They have a super cute 90s butt. Super, super cute. Next up, we have this Alfani cardigan. It's a size extra large. It's got the faux leather sleeve. Super, super cute. No flaws and it retailed for $89.50. I'll probably get between 50, 40 to 50. This is a guest top size small. Super, super cute. Retailed for 40 and I'll probably get between 20 and 30. Next up, we have these Calvin Klein black work pants, size 12. If Next up, we have this ink sweatshirt with the little ruffle detail and the stars. So, so cute. This retail for 70 bucks and I'll probably get between 20 to $30. Next up, we have Riley and Ray, just a simple black dress, perfect for fall. This one is missing the tag. So I'll have to lift, list this one new without tag, but it's still in great condition. Next up, we have this pair of Alfani pants, size 16. I actually have a couple of pair of these on my eBay store right now. Um, and they are still there. They did not sell very fast. Um, so we'll see how these go. Next up, we have these um, biker shorts. These are covered in pilling. I don't know if you can see that, but they're covered in lint and pilling. So these are definitely gonna need some work. Um, they're size extra small. I'm going to sweater shave these and wash them and sell them pre-owned because these are definitely not new with tags condition. Next up, we have these DKNY black jogger pants, or I guess they're sweatpants. Perfect condition, size extra small. They retail for $89. I love selling DKNY. It does really, really good for me, and their stuff is like quality. We have these Tommy Hilfiger pants. Tommy Hilfiger jeans actually do really good for me right now. I don't know what's going on with the younger generation, but they are loving it. They are a size six, super cute with the little side detail. These will probably do really good for me between 30 to 40 bucks. Next up, we have this active basic ribbed black tank top from Free People. This is gonna sell really fast. The basics of Free People go super, super fast. Retailed for 40 bucks and I'll probably get close to 40. I like to list my Free People high. Again, another same basic of the free people but in gray ribbed super cute again i'll get between 30 to 40 bucks for those and a blue one <laughs> yay super cute 40 bucks those will sell fast and you know 30 and 40 is not a lot but all of those sales add up um that's why i love bread and butter items they sell consistently every day, you know, not for a lot of money, but you can count on those sales to come in regularly. So I do love selling bread and butter items. Last items, last item is these Tommy Hilfiger jeans with the stripe. These are super on trend for the younger generation right now. They're loving Tommy size six, light wash, super, super cute. I'll probably get between 20 and 30 bucks. So that completes this liquidation unboxing guys. You've seen exactly what's in my very first box of customer returns. So I hope this goes to show that you don't need to be scared of customer returns and that, you know, the damages are only a few items. So I hope this gives you guys a really good idea of what exactly you can get in a customer returns palette. Do keep in mind that all palettes are different. Mine was manifested, so I knew exactly what I was getting. Um, 
the pile of perfect items versus the pile of stained just goes to show why ordering a customer liquidations palette is worth it. Um, again, all companies are different. Call the company and ask them what their flaw rate is, what types of flaws you may see, and they will happily answer your questions. Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more unboxing videos. I have like four more boxes out in the garage from this palette, and I'd be happy to do some more unboxings for you guys. This was so much fun, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!